I got this. So, um, the first question we're gonna get into is how is my high school experience so far? So, so far, it's, I ain't gonna lie to you, it's kind of boring, but it's cool at the same time. Some of the people are cool, some of the people are dramatic, some of the people are extra, and some of them are regular, regular, regular stuff like that, right? So, yeah, it's been cool so far. I like some of my teachers for the most part, for the most part, some of y'all. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, um, well, they're not bad, but, like, they're just not my preferred, you know, like, they're not the ones that I get excited to run to class for, you know? Okay, so, one of the main classes that I'd be excited to run for, actually, is, well, 7th period and 2nd period, those are my two top, they're, they're my top two classes. Um, and yeah, it's been cool so far, you know, met a lot of good people, and yeah, the question would be is, do I have a girlfriend? And the short answer to that question is, I do. In fact, she's actually on the phone with me right now, as I'm making this video, she's listening to me and watching me. It gave stalker, but I, I have. I have a girlfriend. Anyway, and the third question is, the third question, it came from a boy. And the question reads, why are you so fine? My mother and my father, they mix, they have me. Spoiler again. That me up, cut. Anyway, yeah, that's why. The fourth question would be, is Gio the best? You're not. You're not the best. Moving on. Fifth question. Hmm. What is your longest relationship? The longest relationship I've had that was consistent is the one that I'm in right now. However, without being consistent, it would have to be sixth grade. It was like almost a year, but it was like in between like months and you know, it's like that, you know, on and off. How tall am I? I am actually six two, but that's what's on my ID and it's been like a couple years now, so I'm probably like six three, maybe six four. I don't know yet, um, I'll get that checked, but yeah, around 6 to 6, 4 area. What is my favorite food? I do not have one specific favorite food, however, I have a lot of different favorite foods like curry, roti, um, lasagna, pizza, um, stuff like that, you know, like, but yeah, those are, those are my main favorite foods. Next question would be, when are you going to do a vlog with your girlfriend? Honestly, that was the plan for spring break, like, we were supposed to go to the museum, that's not too far from here, there's a museum. Um, yeah, we were supposed to go there, um, we could still go there, so if we do go there, or like, go places and stuff like that, y'all yeah, should expect to see a vlog on that, and our time like that. Also, um, with that being said about the vlog with me and my girlfriend, um, the vlog would most likely be a three day long, a three day vlog, day long vlog, such a thing. And, um, it will be vlogs of like everywhere we go throughout that specific day, okay? So it don't be like one half an hour to an hour video, it'll be like broken up into ten minutes each. Um, yeah, next question. What was my most embarrassing moment? The most embarrassing moment, well, there's more that I could go into detail with, but for right now, I'll just give you the simple one. The simple one is, in 6th grade, I was sleeping, and my teacher called my name, 
and I woke up and I was like, yes, mommy. We not gonna get too into it, but like, I said it and I was like, yes, yes, miss. You know, I switched into it, but sometimes I call my teachers on me on accident, because I'll be sleeping when I wake up, I'm just like, you know, I'll be thinking my mother waking me up, but yeah. Um, next question. <laughs> Where am I from? I'm from Trinidad. Um, I was born there. Came here a little bit when I was like younger. Had to go back for certain reasons. And then um, came back in fifth grade. Was really supposed to enter sixth grade when I came back, but I entered in fifth grade, so that's the little mix up right there. But um, yeah, came back in fifth grade and been here ever since. Uh, who are the most important people in your life? So this is a this is a good list, I right, so boom. First person, my mother. I wouldn't be in this room with all this shit, all this stuff, teddy bear, ring light, camera, you know, shit like that without her. So my mother number one. Number two, honestly bro, we gonna have to squeeze this in right here. My aunt, cause she's like my mother. I like she's looking like my mother. Everybody think that's my mother. So everybody, that's my mother. Um, then there's my father and my siblings, and then my girlfriend. And yeah, so that, that, that's really it to be honest. My circle and family was small, really. What do I plan for the future? For the future, honestly, I'm gonna give y'all a quick rundown. Boom, as soon as high school is over, I'm out of here. I'm trying to move out of my mother's house into my own place and then um from here i'm just gonna work you know do stuff on my own you know try to get me in like a higher space and shit and then eventually you know i'll be rich well not rich but i'll have enough money and shit that i can get somewhere better and afford better things and you know be with the people i want to be with you know and um kind of go to college and you know another question do I plan on going to college, and what college do I plan on going to? So I just answered, I do plan on going to college for a major in um, marketing and real estate and stuff around that area of retailing and like reselling, marketing, investing, stuff like that. That's what I plan on doing or majoring in. And also, this is what I'm doing right now. And uh, I don't know where I'm going to college so far. Honestly, all I know is that I don't really want to go to college in New York. That's my main thing. I don't want to go to college in New York. That's just too... I won't say ghetto, but it's too much for me, right? So I, I just don't really like being in New York. So I, I, I want to get up and out of New York as fast as possible, really. Unless, like, I'm living somewhere in New York that's, like, fancy and not, like, like the ghetto, basically. How long have you and your girlfriend been together and where do you see yourself in the future? As I was saying, we've been dating for five months and a couple of days right now, so our six months is coming up in three more days. Um, it's on the 22nd. So, yeah, okay. So, next question. Do I plan on getting a tattoo? What tattoo do I plan on getting and where do I plan on getting it? So honestly, for my first tattoo, really, what I want to do is I want to get a tattoo. Okay, I want to get a tattoo that's on my. I don't know, really. I really don't know. I want to get one that's like either on my shoulder or my chest right here, either the left peg or the right peg. Um, yeah, I want to get a tattoo, and for the tattoo, I'm gonna do like a little memorial type thingy. It's gonna be for both my grandmothers that passed away. Um, yeah, it's gonna be, so, I think I might get it on my right shoulder, though. Because I show my right shoulder more, and I don't show my chest more, I show my shoulder. I'll do it, like, right here. Maybe have, like, a little, nice little picture or something. With their name, the date, they, you know, died, and were born and died, and shit like that for each. And going around it, I'm gonna have, like, some, you know, more designs that relate to it. So this whole arm is gonna be, like, a... A memorial and like uh things that like represents them and myself you know 
and this one right here is just gonna be um, like some more but not memorial just like things that represent me and my mother and you know I only get tattoos for my uh, tattoos for my mother and I'm dumb you know and I'm gonna have like up to here for like chest the rest I'm not putting anymore that's it once I'm sleeve in here that's it I'm done might get a little numeral uh, Roman numerals right here and that's it so yeah next question what do I love about myself But nah, I'm joking, but um, what I really love about myself is just my humor and my hair. I love my fucking hair. Like, I love my hair. And, um, I love my height. And honestly, that's really it to be honest. That's it, really. My hair, my height, personality, my humor. That's it. Oh, my eyebrows. I'm just fire. But yeah. Have you ever cheated on someone and have someone ever cheated on you? I have cheated on someone. That's because they cheated on me first. Then I cheated on them. And then... It's kind of like... It was kind of like a back and forth cheating shit. Then we broke up after like a year. And yeah, that was it. Yo, know, and with the cheating stuff too, it was like we break up in between. Get back, break up, get back, break up, get back. And then it was just... Too, it was just too much. So that that's done with though. That's done with. Um, yeah. Next. First time tweaking off an edible. I don't do drugs. I don't support drugs. However, if you want to, if you want a funny story time, leave a comment down below. I um, might do the story time. I mean, not do the story time. But for now, I don't do drugs. I don't support drugs. I do not endorse in drugs. But if y'all want that story time, comment down below and like the video, and you're gonna get that story time. Moving on. What does life mean to you? Life to me, to me... What? What does life mean to you? What life means to me is that you're given an opportunity that you could either take to make the best of it or make the worst of it. So... For me right now, I'm planning on making the best of it, becoming as successful and leaving. Having like generic old wealth, you know? Like, I'm wealthy, my wife's wealthy, our kids are wealthy, their kids are wealthy, the kids after dumb is wealthy, and the kids after dumb after dumb is wealthy, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, well, you know? Forever wealthy, no poorness, you know? That. Um, also, um,. Life also means to me to have, to me, is to have fun as well. Like, um, next question is going to be, do I play sports? I used to play soccer when I was younger, I played basketball here and there, and I played like football for like a couple of months, and then I stopped. I'm trying to get back into football though, because I'm really liking football and basketball a lot actually. And volleyball. Volleyball is actually fun. Like, if you never play volleyball, that is so much fun. But, um, yeah. I'm trying to get back into those three right there. Football, basketball, and, like, volleyball. That's what I'm trying to do. So, if I do play sports, time and time. Um, next question. Am I a nonchalant person? I am nonchalant when I want to be so like if i want to be cool with you and like i'm trying to vibe with you i'm not going to be too nonchalant but sometimes i just rather not let things affect me and just you know be calm one more don't really show much of a reaction just be just be chill you know calm down and don't let that shit bother you you know so i am nonchalant next question though What's the worst mistake I've ever made in my life? Honestly, bro, the worst mistake I've ever made in my life was dating at a young age. Do you think you're prepared for life? I do believe I'm prepared for life, actually. I have, I have goals um, to achieve in life, and I'm going to achieve those goals. So mark my words, yeah, here it is. I have some high goals, and I'm going to achieve it. Watch out for that. Um, next question. What is the last song I've listened to? The last song I've actually just listened to is... 
Face of the Bronx by Yus G's. Listen, I'm on my drill here, my whole playlist full of drill songs. It's fire. But um, I'm gonna put you on Arts and Crafts by uh, Nasty G's. Fire song. Search that up. Just search it up. You're never gonna regret it. Um, next question, though. Um, what is my favorite song from my favorite artist? To be honest with you, I don't really think I got a favorite artist like that. I just listen to a lot of songs. So I used to have a favorite artist. My old favorite artist used to be a boogie. Um, we got Man in the Mirror, um, Notifications, uh, Non Judgmental, Bleed, Fire songs by him. Fire. I don't care what you say, that man could sing, bro. One of my favorite artists. I like old school songs too, gang. So. Uh, or Unfoolish by Ashanti, or uh, I know y'all don't like R. Kelly like that, but bro, that man used to make some fire songs, bro. Like Bump and Grind, yo, that's fire, bro. So some old school R. Kelly you got me there, bro. Alright, so do I have a pet? And what pet, if I don't have a pet, what pet do I plan on getting? Uh, so. I used to own a, well not me personally, but my father used to own a dog, um, it's like a little, it's always like a little dog, but it was a dog, it wasn't too big, it was like brown, kind of like this color, and my aunt used to have a little, it was one of those like, it was a tiny dog, not too tiny though, it was kind of like this size. And it was exactly this color, and it had a lot of hair. Um, her name was Sheba. It's like, I forgot what that name means. And I think, it's some ancient name though. Um, but yeah, I think it was the name of God. I don't know, I remember. Search it up on your, it up on your own. But, um, yeah. Technically, I own both of those dogs, technically. But, listen, Sheba was a devil dog. That dog would act so cool with you. And then as soon as you get close, what? Literally just like that, a dog is a devil dog. Zero out of ten. I used to run away from walking by that dog. Zero out of ten. Would not recommend. Um, my father's dog, that was a cool dog, you know, that was a cool dog. It was a calm dog. That dog was fire. But he died, Sheba died. However, I plan on getting a dog, a um a golden mini doodle. Something like that's called. I'm, trying, I'm probably gonna get in one of those. And I also want a guinea pig and a hamster. So, yeah, I'm planning on getting those as well. And yeah, so that's the end of QA part one. If y'all want part two, like and comment. And also, subscribe, turn on post notification, and share it to your friend if you want part two. And also, um, yeah. It's been a while, I'm finally back now, leave some comments on what other videos I want to see, and yeah, y'all know what to do, I just said it, like, comment, subscribe, later.